Hey, what's up everybody? Havoc back with another video. So before I start the actual video, I just want to say I'm going to start being a lot more helpful to my fellow YouTubers in 2017. I've been A-OK, -okay, you know, very, um, I would say abysmal of helpful, but I want to be more helpful, especially to those of you who are under you know, 100 subscribers, you know, 200, 300, 400, 5, you know, whatever your milestone is for this year, I want to be the person that maybe help you there, you know, sometimes you do need that help, sometimes you hit that plateau where you just don't go down, you don't go up, and it's just, it sucks, you know, you start losing motivation, and you know, you might be at 80, and you won't hit that 100 and that's what you really want you want to hit 100 so in the beginning of my videos I'm gonna start showcasing people so uh, it's pretty pretty simple guys you know I'm not gonna ask you to like or subscribe you know I just want to be that helpful person I just want you if you want me to showcase you in the beginning of my video just tell me in the comments below that you know I want to be showcased whatever right and then I will pick one randomly and then I will message you and what I want from you is you know a quick little I don't know which uh, 30 seconds to a minute length length video saying whatever you want to say you know let it just be gameplay and music or you just talking whatever it is just make sure it's under a minute and it will go in the beginning of my video but um besides that let's get right into the video so 2016 was pretty much a crap year, you know, I wouldn't say it was the worst of the worst because you know sometime in Probably, you know 1866 there was probably some like black plague happening, you know But 2016 is probably the worst year in modern times. All right, you know, I'm not be in 2016, you know, this is my personal uh, Opinion or outlook of it you know, if you got married or if you had your first child, I'm not saying it was a bad year. You know, obviously that's going to be a great year for you. You know, you and your partner, you and your family. And that's wonderful. You know, congratulations on getting married. Congratulations on your child. But I'm mainly focusing on 2016 having to do with video games, YouTube, and just overall that kind of stuff, right? A lot of games in 2016 were so overhyped and they ended up being eh you know most of them ended up being crap you know i'm not i'm not naming anybody but you know there's a a sky that no man wants you know but <laughs> that game was pretty much crap you know and you know maybe it's better now you know but at the, it's just crazy how much they hyped in saying that oh it's gonna have this it's gonna have that it's like saying like for example like at least call of duty doesn't do this like they didn't lie about their shit they're like oh you're gonna get over a million weapons which i think they might actually kind of talked about that with their variants and stuff but i i may be wrong about that i may be wrong about that but like i'm um, like talking about call of duty infinite warfare was it it's it was a lazy piece of work like that game was just trash and trash and trash like, it's not even trash because it's a Call of Duty game. It's just trash in the way they made it. You know, maybe the most, the, the single player was great. But just one aspect of a game is not going to make the entire game great. Multiplayer was lazy. Multiplayer was like, uh, how would you call it? A re rehash of Black Ops 3. And not even a good one. Black Ops 3 did it way better, you know? And then, uh, originally, this whole, like futuristic jetpack thing from Call of Duty is just a rip off of Titanfall. You know, originally I think Call of Duty did this because the original people who made Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 uh, left, you know, Infinity War, the original Infinity War, they left and became Respawn Entertainment. And Activision probably saw what they were doing. They're like, oh my God, they're the guys who made us all this money. We got to copy them. You know what I mean? And well, they did it very very poorly you know and then talking about titanfall 2 titanfall 2 was a it is a fun game it was good it's way better than the first one i love the mo uh, the the story i really really love the story i played it more than once the multiplayer was fun i love the differences they've made it really 
it really felt like they actually listened to us and gave us, you know, not everything we wanted, but the majority of what we wanted. But on top of that, even Titanfall 2, as good as it was, was not a perfect game. You know, that, I think the problem with Titanfall 2, it's not that it was overhyped, I think it was underhyped. I think there was no coverage, there was no, you know, I'm just so sad that the game is lacking like the first one because people didn't believe in it even though it was a great game and i'm really looking forward to titanfall 3. i'm still playing titanfall 2 here and there you know but not as much as i'm playing overwatch now and we get to i guess the most you know game of the year contender you know you know what people say you know i don't think it is uh we get to battlefield 1 Battlefield 1, great, you know, nobody wanted boots, or nobody wanted jetpacks and futuristic shit, we wanted an old school, you know, World War 1 game, World War 2, and, and, um, DICE and EA, you know, they gave us what we kind of wanted, you know, even this game was fun, it's still fun, I still love playing it, I just, I just feel in my opinion, it's lacking guns, but then again, like, Maybe they're lacking guns on purpose because of the time period or whatever it is It's cool, you know World War one's cool But me personally, I'd rather have a game in set in World War two, you know, it just seems more Of a better era to play video games because it's not so much You know, I, I guess you would say it's there's just a, a plethora of more options to put in in the game, I guess you would say something like that, right? But all that, you know, we had crappy games, we had okay games, and we had, you know, good games. But we we didn't have perfect games. We didn't have like amazing games, like games like Skyrim. You know, back I, I'm not talking about the special edition. You know, that's kind of dumb what they did. But you know, I understand why they did it. You know, for those of the people who weren't able to play Skyrim, now they can play Skyrim. You know, that's pretty cool. You know, even though I've been playing Skyrim since PC on 360, <laughs> and yes, I got suckered into playing on the one, you know, it was worth it, you know, being a little comfortable, you know, especially with the how it, how easier it is to mod things now on the Xbox, and it was just like, I feel like games got lazy, like, I'm not trying to take uh, any, like, achievements off of anybody, I just feel like everything's gotten lazy like or to the point where like the publishers just want the the devs to put something out now 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 I don't care if it's only 80% done I don't care if it's 40% done I want it out now 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 this game was hyped so much and we need that money we need that hype money you know and I think that's what the problem was in 2016 a lot of games were just rushed sent out too early they weren't um they weren't QA, they you know, they didn't test them for bugs, glitches, you know, crashes. And that's kind of the mentality that devs have now is that oh we we'll just do a day one patch. But to me, that's really fucking annoying. Like when I get my game, especially how games are now, how you gotta buy them and then like download them, you know, like if you buy a physical copy, you gotta do that. If you buy digital, you know, it uh, you're just gonna download it, but it's gonna take a good minute, you know, to download. And for me, I have the best uh, internet out in my area. You know, I have the fastest. And even at that, it's not as fast as I want it. I want it to be faster. But I'm thinking of those people who have low to shitty internet. Like, what about them? Like, how are they supposed to download the game? How they, how are they supposed to download a day one patch and not play until like two, three days later? You know what I mean? I think that's the problem with gaming now. And hopefully all this stuff gets fixed in 2017. Hopefully there's, we learn not to overhype things. You know, like a certain game, I think that's coming out 2017. I may be wrong, but it's, uh, oh shit. I lost, um, wow. I lost uh, my train of thought. It's uh, Injustice 2. There we go. Jesus, I had to go look at my 360 games real quick. Injustice 2. I'm a really big fan of superheroes, like, you know, don't matter Marvel, DC, 
but I really enjoyed the original Injustice. And then number two looks like it's going to be a really fun game. It doesn't look like it's going to be perfect, so that's why I'm not trying to overhype it. I just think it's going to be a great addition to, you know, the the game. But, you know, I just, I don't want to overhype nothing. I feel like if people overhype it, they make the game's value higher. And somehow, like, make... I wouldn't say the devs more cocky, but I would feel like they make the publishers more cocky. Like, oh, we have the best game ever because it's so overhyped. Everybody's giving us a 10 out of 10, even though before the game's even out. You know what I mean? So it's like, I want this whole like overhyping thing to go away. I want this whole day one patch to go away. I just want gaming to be great again in 2017. You know, I'm starting to sound like Donald Trump, you know, make America great again. <laughs> no, but anyway, seriously, let's make gaming great again, guys. And let's just stop overhyping things and stop making publishers and devs so damn cocky when they don't deserve all this damn praise. When they give us half-baked games, half-done games and shitty games, you know, we need games to be better. And 2016 was a, a good show of... If we give them full response, or not full response, but full, uh, our full attention without saying anything, like they're just gonna make crap games and make money off of it. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to say today. And if you agree for any reason or disagree, let me know why down in the comments below. And if you're new, you know, I really don't want to do this, but you know, that's how YouTube is now. I gotta start telling you guys, you know, hopefully you can hit that like button or that dislike button. I don't mind. You know, it just shows interaction with you guys. And can you please, 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 please help me get to 600 damn subscribers. I've been plateaued so bad between 580 and 590. Like I go up and then I go down and it is getting kind of annoying. So can you just help a brother out? Give me the 600, a little bit over 600 would be much appreciated. <laughs> but anyways, guys, it's been me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, don't forget, stay awesome. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. What we do here is go back, 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 back.